Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, you've probably heard of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the Christian man who faithfully stood up to Hitler and his evil regime. Uh, he's, his calling has uh, been described as uh, to warn the German people of the consequences of Hitler's political philosophy. Uh, we know that uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer paid a high price. He paid the ultimate price for standing up to evil. Uh, maybe you have not heard of his contemporary though. His name was Helmut Tillicke. The Lord's calling on his life during Hitler's evil reign has been described as to sustain the people of Germany through the war and then help them rebuild their lives spiritually and morally after the war ended. In 1936, Tillich became a, pro a professor at the, the University of Heidelberg, but uh, he lost his position early on in World War II uh, because he cr consistently criticized the Nazis and their policies. He stood up as a Christian man against that which was evil. He fled from uh, the university to the city of Stuttgart and he started to preach at St. Mark's Church. He preached there each Sunday in the bombed out relic that was left as a result of the Allied bombings. He faithfully stood there and preached from spot to spot as the bombing changed the architecture from week to week. As he did that, uh, there was a faithful army of volunteer stenographers who would stay after the message. They would uh, transcribe what he had said and then privately copy it over and distribute it quietly amongst the brothers and sisters in Christ. Printing for Christians was prohibited at that point. Yet the word, the word of God spoken by a faithful preacher continued to go forward. Tillake said this, I have been interested in the theological question of what change takes place in a person when he finds God and also finds himself. For one thing, I was always sure that when a man seeks himself, he fails to find himself, and that he gains and realizes himself only when he loses his life in God. Only when we lose our life in Jesus Christ. You see, he has given us his new life. Tillich, what a great gift he was to God's people at a horrible time. And he stood and preached the good news of Jesus Christ. I hope you're having a great day. God bless you.